All right, we are, my son and I are heading out to the post office to get uh, new pigeons. So hopefully the keys are in there. All right, we'll give you guys a tour of where we live also. Right, Odin? Mm -hmm. 3850 Ponderosa Road. <laughs> okay, hold this for me. Yeah. You excited? Mm -hmm. These are the blue bars. A uh, bunch of uh, blue bars. Hornet from Four Flights and Phil Smithers. Smithers. <laughs> I can never say his name. Smithers. So we will fill in, we will fill in the information when we get there to the po post office. We'll be right back. So guys, we arrived at the post office. Gonna get our pigeons. Anything you have to say, Vansley? No, we're getting pigeons. <laughs> well, uh, let's go get the pigeons. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I know. Back. And we got the birds right here from the post office. My father, Van Sai, my father, opened them in the post office. That's why we're putting a box on the open box. So, got anything we have to include? Yeah, we showed the, uh, the uh, postal workers what they were curious what. Uh, how they look like the racing pigeons and so we opened it up to show them they're fascinated by it because it's uh it's not really something that oh cover that up <laughs> ah. you can pause the video <laughs> hey guys so now we're back home i'm gonna show you what uh, what i've got Sorry, we have to stare at my belly. Big belly. So anyways, I don't have my tripod. Um, so I'm gonna set it right here. So hopefully this works out. Yeah. All right. So these are birds that um, I bought from um, Bill uh, Smithers um, through the four flights. Okay, so he, um, he was gracious enough to uh, uh, give me these birds that uh, you know, let me buy it from him. So that was that was very nice, you know. Thank you, Richard. Um, well, uh, we'll go through the pedigree. Um, later um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the band so I know which one is uh, which one's first so all right so this is a uh, IF band 2022 bird Richmond Virginia 438 let me write that down 438 Okay, so these, these birds have really good pedigree. Uh, most of them are, uh, you can guess, ornate birds. But as you can see, powder blue related to the, I believe uh, Richard told me they're related to my Mando bird, Mandalorian, which is an ornate. Yeah, they're very nice, very buoyant birds. I guess these birds were supposed to go to some uh, big race in Africa, but uh, for some reason uh, Phil decided not to uh, participate in that race. So, so I got them. So you can see, it looks uh, much like my. Uh, Ornat bird. I don't know if this is a cock bird or not, but uh, it's a 
very active with it, it's looking around a lot. So, one tail. Well balanced. So, alright, that's the first bird. Number 438. Okay, guys. Uh, this one is band number 695. So, let me write that down so we can. 695. Again, from Phil Smethers. Um, looks, looks like a hen. But they're all they're all related. Very nice. Powder blue. six and it's from Richmond so I have been it's a 2022 bird but it's definitely ready for breeding so, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of feisty all right so yeah, as you can see they're all kind of related but nice powder blue Six. All right, this is uh, number 6563 from Richard Gorn, Four Flights. So, 2022. Looks like it's uh, growing its. Uh, oh, he's hurting, so I'm not going to stretch his wings out. But again, we'll take a look at the pedigree later. But uh, ooh, this one's a nice one. It's got a little thick eye, white. I like that. More chance of producing blue bar white flights. Okay, it's a nice powder blue. I like the white back right there. All right. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Richard. Six five three six. <laughs> Just kidding. So right there. All right. That's a nice bird. All right. This one looks like a cock bird. Um, it's got a purple band, so I'm guessing this is a purple heart bird. One, five, three. Wow. Wow. That this is a beautiful bird. On the larger, it's on a larger side, but uh, very nice. Look at that. One pin tail, very well balanced. It's active with that, so active. Nice bird. Yeah. A cock bird. This looks like a cockbird, so yeah, this is a very nice bird. It's got a racing chip, so it was raised. I'm only going to guess, without looking at the uh, pedigree, that this is uh, a purple heart. 
for so nice waddle I like that kind of the heart shape waddle yep. all right very nice nice long wing pretty muscular I like it when with the this part is short. I like that. The rest is long. Wow, this is a nice bird. All right, on to the next. Let me write this down. LSL one five three. guys this is the last one looks like she got beat up a little bit <laughs> in the she's probably happy to get out nice tail okay. this is uh, 6581 2022 ARPU bird Tail. It's got the white thick in the eye. It's very nice. Looks like a hen. So, all right. So there, the, there are the birds, and we're gonna take a look at the pedigree in a little bit. Yeah, looks like a very nice bird. Before I show you the uh, pedigree, I just wanted to show you what uh, I'm excited about these two because these are my favorite colors. So you got that. He's a 2022 bird, raised the whole 400 miles, and then uh, this was gifted to me by Steve and Steve the Bat and uh, Bobby. I love it. It's a nice little hen. That has a pedigree as well, so I'm super excited because they kind of look alike. You know, blue bar, white flight. All right. Anyway, so I was excited about that. Yeah, he's a nice bird. His dad is. Uh, let me see if I can find his dad. Oh yeah, right there. He looks just like his dad right there. That guy's a uh, 250 mile equal first winning bird. So, yep, call him lucky. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's take a look at the pedigree here. This is the first time I'm seeing this as well. So, um, three of these birds, the first three that I showed you guys are. Uh, from Smithers Love, sorry I can't pronounce that for some reason I'm having Smithers Loft um, so that's him right there um, I believe these three were supposed to go to some African one loft race Africa Pro or whatever it's some sort of an invitation only kind of um, one loft racing but uh, for some reason, uh, Phil decided that uh, not to enter in that race. So hence the birds, you know, I got the birds, uh, which is great, right? So I, I feel really privileged to, and honored to be able to get these birds. So as you can see, um, the background, DV, uh, I'm guessing that's, Germany uh, and GFL, 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 and then you know some of these names I'm not familiar with. Fonz, I'm familiar with. So right there. So the mother is uh, AFL four four zero, and then it goes. It's an ornate uh, bloodline and fonts so anyways there's the uh 
description of the bird. So IF 438 in Richmond, Virginia. Okay, that was the first bird. And then this is the second bird. Again, from Phil uh, Smithers. Uh, there's the description of the bird, bred by Phil. Full sibling to equal first, 150 miles, Crooked River, OLR. Um, yep, yeah, GFL, ADUS pick, Fonts, Hogwarts. I'm not familiar with it, but, uh, but anyway, I'm just kind of scanning through the pedigree here, and you guys can kind of read it. So, okay. And the third one here, <coughs> um, again, Smithers Loft, there's the description, Superbird, Blue Bar, Fonz Foundation Breathers, Ornat, so this is a uh, direct granddaughter of Ornat. Um, okay. And then the, on the um, cock side, it's uh, Son of Fonts. So right there. GFL, GFL, GFL. So, so this guy spent a lot of money, it looks like, on, on the parents and stuff. So, um, all right. So the fourth bird, uh, this is from uh, bred by um by richard gorn from the four flights so right there okay if you want to buy get some good birds good quality birds there's his uh, contact information and i know he doesn't mind um okay so right there i'm not gonna read the whole thing but uh, i'll just scan through here you guys can take a look at it mcloth LSL. Right there. Son of Jaws. So, looks like the parents are all the way back to Belgium. Ikea, Sharky. I'm pretty sure that's not the furniture company, but. Anyways. Oh, by the way, I'm super excited about this bird. I know I don't sound like I'm excited, but. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> I am. I am very super excited. All right. So this one looks like a almost like a gift from <laughs> Gorn. So thank you. Um, I wasn't expecting this bird, but uh, he threw this in anyway. So, so I was supposed to get three hens, I believe, but he threw this in the cock bird. But anyways. So all right, Kaz Boer Freak, 23rd Bond Race from 350 miles. Okay, so these this particular bird uh, was raised, which is good. I always like to breed from a um, bird that's been proven, right? So it's always a good thing. Again, I'll just scan through this real slowly so you guys can read it. So it looks like McLaughlin. Wow. It's a really good pedigree, guys. Again, if you want to... Um, you're looking for breeders. I don't know if he's got any but uh, left. But there's his contact information. Richard Gorn, four flights. This one is a Wolverine Ornat class. Wow. Direct son of Wolverine and then granddaughter. So this is like a double granddaughter. So this is a Wolverine ornament. This is a very good bloodline. So, all right, guys. So there's the pedigrees. And thank you for watching, uh, Richard and Phil. Thank you for let me have these birds i can't wait to 
see what they can do. A lot of them, their babies are gonna go um, to one loft races, which I will be doing a lot more this season and the coming seasons, um, as well as uh, still doing a club or a combine racing. So I look forward to seeing what these birds can do. Um, so yeah, just um, please subscribe and like. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the birds. And again, if you, you are interested in um, quality birds, just get a hold of Richard Gorn right there, okay? All right, guys, God bless you, and uh, um, best wishes uh, with the new year, and uh, good luck with your breeding season, all right? All right, bye. Sorry, guys, I need to, I just got permission from Phil. Uh, I asked him if I could share his information on uh, on. Uh, YouTube. Uh, that's why I didn't wanted to, I didn't want to show his uh, information there until uh, I got the, the okay from him. But uh, I'm not really sure if he sells birds or anything. But uh, there, there's the contact information if you, you know, looking for good quality birds. Okay. Um, so, anyways, thanks again, uh, Phil and Richard, uh, for the nice uh, birds.